Alpine Liquid Fertilizers is your full season crop fertility specialist from start to finish. Visit alpinepfl.com for more. Amber Bell here with Real Agriculture. I am at the Western Canadian Crop Production Show in Saskatoon right now, speaking with Chris Nicolation, and he is with Nitro. So welcome, Chris. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Nice to be here. Okay, so we're talking about the green lightning machine, and I have heard about this from neighbors, so I was super curious to see one in person. Tell me a little bit about this. So the green lightning machine takes atmospheric nitrogen out of the air and binds it into water. Uh, air is 78% nitrogen, so what it's doing is it's recreating the natural occurrence of nitrogen fixation in water that occurs during a lightning storm, and it's placing it into the water. So the, what the machine is is essentially an, an artificial lightning storm. Right, and you can basically put this machine in your garage, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so what is happening? How are producers using this? Because we're just getting off the ground with it, right? Yeah, most guys are applying it through the sprayer, um, foliar style. Uh, herbicide timing, fungicide timing. Um, you can spoon feed it if you want, depending on the crop you're, you're producing. Um, guys are applying it into the soil as well. Uh, we're still learning a lot, so um, there's, there's a little bit of data that we need to we need to figure out before we have a, a dialed in, you know, recommendation. Right. And where did the idea for this machine spark up? Uh, so the technology was developed um, 13, 14 years ago by a guy named Joe Lewis. Uh, he's from Florida and he's an engineer and he was working on a completely different project and discovered a byproduct through uh, you know, working on hydrogen engines. And that was kind of where the, uh, um, the initial idea came from. And over the years, he refined it a little bit and then came out a farmer, uh, Travis Potter, and they commercialized this. Okay, so when you're using this on the field, say someone buys a unit like this, what are some of the requirements to have it be effective uh, you need you need to get your water right, um, and and that's essentially uh, step one in the sales process. You're gonna have to get us a water analysis, and we're gonna tell you where your water needs to be. It's it's a pretty narrow spec. We know with certainty um, if you don't have the proper water, you're not gonna have success. So you, you want to get to a, a 50 TDS range. 50 to 75 is is ideal, and uh, a pH starting at about six or below. So most guys have had to go with reverse osmosis. And uh, of the percentage of success we've seen last year, 100% of, of those customers had proper water. So going into this year, we're making it a requirement. We will not sell you a machine if you can't get your water to where it needs to be. And we're looking forward to what that data is gonna bring. Right, so you're looking water. at like water treatment and how, how could guys correct their water if they're looking um, So rainwater has always worked, but uh, for the vast majority of guys, it's gonna be reverse osmosis with remineralization. Okay, and then we were talking about return on investment a little bit earlier as well. So can you speak to that? Like how long does it take to pay off one of these units? Uh, everyone's math is going to be a little bit different depending on the infrastructure they need uh, to use the machine, but if it's just the machine alone, it's going to be in under a year. Uh, this machine goes for 61,500 Canadian, and you're going to be producing approximately 30,000 pounds of nitrogen. So if you do the math, you're looking at about five, six, five to seven cents a pound for nitrogen. And that counts the electricity, right? So I was speaking with someone before, and they were mentioning that it's like using a toaster. Yeah, it's, it's not using any more electricity than your toaster does. Um, so if you wanted the budget high between your water and your electricity, you're looking at about $2,500 a unit per year. That's incredible. Well, where can people go to get more information and possibly purchase a unit if they're looking for it? Uh, you can go read some more information at greenlightning.ag or visit nitro.ca. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And that was Chris Nicolation on Real Agriculture.